I want to go to the app. Yeah. What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to App Slug, the show where I look at Android games on my Galaxy S5. And today, we're looking at Leap, a one-touch rhythm game on the Google Play Store that I was contacted by the company to say, hey, here's our game, you should probably take a look at it. And normally, normally, I do not entertain such requests. But I'm a fan of such games as Super Hexagon, so I was like, yeah, I'll take a look at it and give it an honest critique. So we're going to hit play here. You can tell already if you want more levels, you can spend $1 to get more levels and more skins for your character. But uh, being what this is, I'm just going to hit level 1 here and show you. It is one touch. The background vibrates the music. And my main issue with this game is that it is the same every time. So the genius of Super Hexagon is that it kind of keeps going and that it varies itself just enough to be different and kind of screw you up. This game from where I played, and I played about 20 minutes, uh, is the same every time. Now obviously you get through more stages, it gets harder, so you can buy more stages if you want, but for the most part uh, it is the same thing every single time, and uh, that's not going to be good for your longevity. So my suggestion to people who made, to people who made this game is that, hey, you should probably think about, you know, uh, you should probably think about having some kind of a random element to your game, much like Super Hexagon, which is kind of the the benchmark for uh, this kind of genre. Also, fuck ads, but you know, I'm not spending a dollar, because that's not going to happen. Uh, and it bugs you for premium every time you finish a level. It says, hey, you wanna, buh, you wanna, buh? no, no. If you, wa if you actually watch this show and just didn't look at my numbers, my subscribers, and my views, if you actually watched this channel and watched how I cover mobile games, I don't spend, spend money, come on now. These videos don't make back the money it would cost me to buy the thing to get rid of the ads, so it's not going to happen. Anyway, uh, no, back out here to the level select. So I will show you where I got up to, which is level 4, uh, from what I played. Now, for me personally, I think that the touch stuff in this kind of a game is... The, the, way, the way they're handling the momentum, the back and forth, uh, in how you actually control the game uh, is not quick enough for me. Like, the you have to really plan out your back and forth because when you hit, there's like, you see that? There's not, like, it's not fast enough. Like, I'm top, I can tap real fast. I'm, I'm, it's still the leeway there. The leeway. Uh, if, you wanted to, if you wanted to stay right in the middle, there's not enough speed between taps for that leeway to do that properly. So that's kind of my only real issue besides that and not having a randomized element to your stages. You know, I can appreciate it. I have no problem with the, with the difficulty. Certainly if I played enough of it, I would get past it because this is a game very much these stages are memorization. So I can memorize these stages and then eventually get past them. Uh, I'm not going to have that kind of a patience. That's not how I, you know, usually approach mobile games. Uh, and again, much like Super Hexagon, that is a game where you get better at it because it forces you to not memorize stages, it forces you to get better at your reflexes. This game, you kind of just, you know, obviously there are reflexes involved, but it's very much memorizing the stage layout. So I will show you real quick the other skins. Uh, personally, not a big fan of the dubstep soundtrack, but that's just my personal taste in music. Uh, and you can see here there are these skins for your little square here, your little pixel guy. That you can get, and if you want internet memes like Doug, that will cost you the one dollar that it costs to uh, get rid of the ads and get more skins and more levels. So, and, you know, not a bad value for one dollar. It's not just getting rid of the ads. There is more stuff to it, and you do get more skins. You, you start with four skins, and then you get more as you beat levels individually. Um, so there's there there is certainly that. But uh, personally. If I, if I wanted to play this kind of a game, I would, you know, again, I'd play, I'd play Super Hexagon. That's just me. So, nothing but love for T Terry Cavanaugh and uh, his library of games. Uh, but, yeah, so this is Leap. Uh, I'm actually, the biggest surprise to me of this game is that nobody else had registered the name Leap for a mobile game before. Like, whenever you can get just a one-word name for your game, that's pretty good. So, kudos on that, whether or not, you know, that's a good thing for your SEO, uh, I guess remains to be seen. Because certainly, if you're contacting a nobody like me for this kind of thing, then obviously you're not doing well on your, uh, 
downloads. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to bop out of here uh, and tell you that there's an ad, and uh, this has been App Slug. This has been Leap. My name is Attack Slug. I am not buying premium, and uh, I will see you next time, right here on this channel, and I'm out.